before starting video for any kind of game rental slash activation service you can contact me on discord every major triple a title and online multiplayer is available hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another renewal fsr 3 video so first things first this mod will be for the rtx users but uh, amd and gtx users can still watch this video because uh, this video also got the uh, yellow tint removal uh, in the game so what is that is uh, the game uh, has an inbuilt like a yellow filter in the game i will show some pictures on a screen right now so you guys can see like what the before and after looks like uh, with using this mod so yeah i will be showing that mod with that um, for rtx card users the game is fully fixed like uh, you can use any upscaler any uh, anti-aliasing uh, with that frame generation and feel that smoothness in your game so we will also show that uh, and with that uh, comes the new nvidia dlss uh, 3.6 for uh, horizon forbidden west so yeah let's begin without any delay so first uh, i'll show everything in game uh, at once uh, but uh, first let me install one by one so first we're gonna extract the forbidden west dlss 3.6 uh, so now we're gonna copy the dlss and before testing the dlss in the game folder you might want to make a backup of the previous dlss in case you want to uh, like uh, uh, paste it again so yeah go to the installation folder uh, search the nvgx dlss dot dll and you can copy it and like uh, save it somewhere else like a backup dlss or whatever you like and you can paste that uh, dlss here and after that you can uh, copy and paste the mods uh, new dlss which is 3.6 into the game folder so now the dlss is out of the way uh, we're gonna install the mod and the uh, reshade so i won't be showing the reset installation because it's just simple like go to the reset.me uh, download the reset and browse the what do you say uh, reset so if you don't know how to do that you can search google or you can come to discord i will help you but i won't be uh, wasting any time showing a uh, reset installation so yeah i'm just gonna install the um, fsr3 uh, dlss3 mod and along go with the video so after that uh, we're gonna extract this uh, dlss3 zip for uh, horizon uh, forbidden west so after that we're gonna copy everything then we're gonna paste it into the installation folder again uh, and after that if you are a first time user you will need to uh, disable the signature override so double click on it click on yes then click on ok now you're gonna close it and run the game now i'll speed up the video a little bit okay so we're back in the game and i don't know if you can feel the smoothness in the game uh, but uh, first uh, i won't be showing that first i'll show you the yellow filter like uh, this might seem normal to you but uh, the yellow filter is disabled as when i enable the disable filter uh, yellow filter you will see what i'm talking about uh, look at those mountains and sky now look at it the yellow filter is enabled and you can see the game look very yellowish some people might like it but some people don't and i'm i am like uh, uh, more like a natural guy like uh, i like my color to little saturated uh, like close to life so that's why i am using it with the off version so this is the off and this is the on so yeah it's totally up to you like how you want to use the filter or not but this is just an optional step and makes the game look better uh, and now we will go back to the frame generation settings so right now i am on 1080p with uh, graphics preset set on high and medium dlss is on quality frame generation is on so previously with this mod uh, the game was like lagging and stuttering a little bit and you were unable to uh, feel the smoothness of the game but now it's totally fixed like you can feel the smoothness in the game and the best thing is you can use any upscaler with it like right now i'm using dlss i can even switch to fsr and feel the smoothness of the frame but yeah fsr is a little bit like uh, uh, worse than dlss in terms of a stabilization so that will that is not gone that is still there but yeah you can still use it you can also use the xcss also xcss ultra quality because xcss quality is a little bit uh, less sharp uh, so yeah xcss is also usable uh, 
what you will get a little bit lower FTS than MSR in XCSS. You can also use the TAA with frame generation on. That is also uh, like uh, super stable. Uh, it was working on the previous version and is still working in the uh, this version too. Like the TAA is also working. Uh, so yeah, every every setting, every upscaler is working like it's the official frame generation from the NVIDIA, NVIDIA 4000 series and everything. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can also use the DLAA too. I'll show you that uh, DLAA uh, upscaling method of and frame generation. You will get a little bit lower FPS with DLAA because uh, DLAA uses a native resolution. So that's why you won't get as much frame rate as dlss or msr but yeah you can still use it for superior quality uh, so yeah this will be it guys uh, if this video uh, helps you uh, do leave uh, a like and subscribe to the channel if you face any kind of issue like while installing the reshade mod and everything you can join discord we can discuss more uh, but you can also search the google for like uh, a detailed tutorial of how to install reshade and everything or you can search youtube so yeah um, this will be it hope you guys have enjoyed the video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one cheers now i'm gonna play the game for one to two minutes uh, so feel free to watch it or you can skip Come in, Savior.